Hi everyone, it's Annie from Feranda Fashions. I'm getting ready here to show you my haul video. I went to the Goodwill outlet on Sunday and it was super cold out and I froze my butt off and you saw me hesitate there, right? You thought I was gonna say, froze my blank off. Anyway, froze my butt off, got in there a little after 11, I was out there for over an hour, got in there and they told me I had 30 minutes because then they had to clean. So they're open nine to six. The people that got in at nine got to stay two hours. Why I don't know why they don't have it staggered differently, but the first 30 people got in there and they were there for two hours. My group, not really my group, but the people that were standing with me were all complaining out there, you know, blah, 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 talking to each other. Um, we got in there and we were told 30 minutes. So basically people were like going into the bins, picking up and throwing it in the cart, scooping up a pile and throwing it in the cart, scooping it up, throwing it in the cart. And I was like, well, I guess that's a good way to shop, but you don't know what you're getting. Like, I don't want to bring nothing too nasty home. You know, I do wash and dry everything. I steam everything. Uh, you know, it, worst case, if it needs dry cleaning, I'll do it. But I don't want to bring home nastiness, you know, because sometimes some of the stuff in there is really super nasty. I'm just letting you know. So you got to have your gloves on. Of course, everybody had a mask on and they clean three times a day. I think it was from 1130 to 12, 130 to 2, 330 to 4, and then they're open till 6. But if you stand on that line, you may miss out on getting in. So next time, I need to leave even earlier in the morning. Like, it took me over two hours to get there. So I need to go even earlier. Because I got there, it was, at, you know, after 9.30. I thought it was closer to 10. But I was just standing out there for over an hour, freezing to death. But anyway, I want to tell you all about my haul. I have things to the left of me things to the right of me. I'll start with the biggest, biggest items first. Thule. Let me show you. Medium. This is 60% wool. It looks like a pea coat. I think it's really nice and it's in really good condition. You can wash it in cold, you know, and dry it on low. I think, I think you could dry it on low if I remember correctly. Um, I steamed it. I didn't do anything else with it at this point because I don't trust myself washing something that's 60% wool. I got a Chadwick's jacket, which is a small. It comes with a belt. I'm trying to hold it up so you can see it. I'm just a fan of the color green. Let's see what else we got. I got some athletic wear. Reebok t-shirt, Adidas shorts. People are working out, not me, some people. Some people are working out. So a lot of the athletic wear is selling really well if you have athletic wear. This here is the extra small, small Hollister hoodie. Am I right, Hollister? I'm guessing by looking at it. Yes, it is a Hollister hoodie. I saw this Dress Barn, and I don't think Dress Barn is a big brand on Poshmark. But I saw this, it has some bling on it, on the V. You see it? I'm trying to hold it in the light. That's a 2X. I got some kids shirts. I don't sell too many kids stuff, but I just thought this was super cute. It reminded me of some old school here, Angry Birds. Anybody remember Angry Birds? I used to play it on my Blackberry. So this is, I'm aging myself here. We used to call it a Crackberry. Harpoon IPA for our IPA people out there. Got some Vineyard Vines, which is really nice. Long sleeve shirt. These are usually about 80 bucks retail. Of course, used, they're not gonna sell for 40 or 50, but I may be able to get, 
maybe I could clear 30 on that. Um, got some Vineyard Vines kids. Remember, I have to steam this. Some things I wash dried and didn't fold it nice and neat. So I have to steam this stuff, but this is really cute. Children's large. Um, Talbot's small dress, sleeveless, denim collar, blue floral. Very nice. If any of my watchers out there like anything that I have, let me know because I'll give you a discount when it's listed on Poshmark. You could send me an offer. This is a Michael Kors skirt that I picked up, which I actually really like it. It's long. I'll hold it up. And I like to wear long skirts in the summer and in the spring. So that one may be staying with me. Liz Claiborne, these are like a silver color, corduroy. Um, let me tell you the size on these. This is an eight petite. They're in good condition. I don't see any flaws, I don't see any rips, and I don't see any stains. And they are clean, because I clean them. Um, these are Canyon River Blues, which I don't think bring too much money, but I wanted to show you the pockets. They're missing a few little bling. They're missing a few little tiny blings on there, but they're in good condition other than that, and they're a size 10. So I thought these were nice. What else do I got for you? But I got tons and tons of jeans. I'm not gonna show you every single pair, but I got Calvin Klein, Hollister, um, American Eagle Outfitters, I got some khaki pants. These are Liz Claiborne Hepburn denim. These are dark blue denim. These are a size 14. And, you know, I just got to find the time to list all this stuff. Then I have to start my new inventory system so I can get organized and my house doesn't look like garbage. These are nine West jeans. They're a size 12 with a 30 inch length. And these two are also in really good condition. I tend to find the women's jeans are in very, very good condition and the guys' jeans leave a little bit to be desired. Um, Hollister, size large. Very comfy. Those should sell really well. U.S. Polo Association. This is a V-neck extra large. I think this blue V-neck will go really good with the Polo Association blue jacket I'm selling. I'm selling a navy blue U.S. Polo Association jacket. I have some Gap, some Gap hoodies some Gap jeans. I want to show you this is a Hollister hoodie and I got to just get situated here because I want to show it to you up close and personal. This is faux fur. Faux fur to keep you warm. It's a small. It's still in very good condition. I did find two small stains on it but It still keep you cozy warm and maybe if you know how to get the stains out, give it a shot. Again, this is a size small. I got an American Eagle Outfitters tote bag that says love. And I love tote bags. American Eagle Outfitters, can you see it? Yes, you can. Um, I did get a pink hoodie, Victoria's Secret pink. I'm going to show it to you up close because I know the lighting is a little off when I have lighter clothing that I'm showing you. The only thing missing is the strings on the hoodie. They are missing, but it's still in decent condition. This is a medium. see and I got some more things here I want to show you two more things 
that were really exciting for me that I liked. I say exciting for me that exciting because I I liked how the style is or just that it's different. Loft and Taylor Loft size eight. I think these are really cute for the spring. These are already on Poshmark. And I got to do the number one find. You ready? Here we go. Number one find, everybody. These are also already on Poshmark. You see the tag? See the AG? And do you see the AG? I'm waiting for somebody to say, hey, I know what that is. These are crop pants. The Prima Crop. Mid-rise cigarette crop. See the name? I just want to tell you, these retail for $188 in the store brand new. So that's my number one find. Do I think I'm going to get $90, like half? That's how I think. Do I think I'm going to get $90 for these? I'm not sure. But I think I actually put them on for less than $90, and we'll see what offers I get. That's a waist size 29. So if you know somebody that would be interested in that, let me know. Um, I had a great time going to the Goodwill outlet. It was fun, but I did freeze my butt off. So I may not go back for a couple more months. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the little haul I have for you. I have so many other pairs of jeans and shirts, but they're all, they're brands that are going to make a quick buck. You know, they're Gap or they're Pink or, you know, Hollister, American Eagle. I'm just not going to show you every single thing. They're plain, they're jeans, they're black or they're blue denim. And that's really it. So I hope you have a great day. And don't forget tomorrow, the Posh. Uh, ambassador stocks are dropping January 13th and for the public you got to wait till the 19th all right I'll be in touch if I find out anything tomorrow about the stocks and the price I'll let you know what it came out to be and I'll let you know if I know what they're gonna be on the 19th have a great night everybody bye